the title and as you can see right in front of me, I'm going to be doing a pack with me. I've never done a pack with me. I've always wanted to do one and this is the perfect time to do one. Um, I was going to film this yesterday. I started to, but then I had to, um, I would, would have had to film later that night and I didn't want to and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to film this. Um, this is actually going up on either the day of that I'm traveling or the next day, Friday. So yeah, um, I wanted to do a pack with me in the past, but I didn't have a tripod and now I do and this is the perfect time because I am actually for the last time because I will explain everything when I get back soon. Um, for the last time, I am traveling up to North Dakota to visit my dad. Um, me and my brother are. We are actually leaving in about two hours, so I need to quickly film this, get something to eat, and be on our way. Um, yeah, so we are spending Labor Day weekend with them. We'll be back the day after Labor Day. I am not going to be filming while I'm there. I am going to put my full attention to my dad. I don't want to be on my phone much, and I don't want to have to have to um, be thinking of content to be filming for you guys. But if you want to see me traveling and everything we did over my brother's spring break up in North Dakota, you can check that out. If I remember, I will put it in the description. I don't want to ramble on. So let's get packing. I am going to be doing the Kanmari method or however you say it, it's on the screen. Um, I will be doing that method. I'll be rolling my clothes into my suitcase. This is not my suitcase. I don't actually have a suitcase. I have a giant duffel bag, but I don't want to use that because we are not checking our bags. We are bringing them as carry-ons. So to be able to do that, I am borrowing my mom's carry-on suitcase, which is the perfect size. And yeah, so let's get packing. All right, guys, so here's everything I am bringing. Um, it looks like a lot, but it's actually not. Um, the weather there is very different than down here in Tennessee, where I live. Um, it's going to be between the low 60s and low 80s. There's a few days it's going to be in the low 80s, and then the rest of the days will be in the 60s, in the upper 60s, low 70s. So, yeah. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to wear this outfit to the airport, this tank top, my jean shorts, and I have sandals on. And I will bring this in case it's cold in the airport while I'm there. And then once we get settled, before we board, if we have time, I might have to do this in Minneapolis. We have a two-hour layover in Minneapolis. We don't board till like 9.50 and we don't leave till 9.30. We, we land at around 8 o'clock. So I decided, and plus, once we get to North Dakota, it's going to be about midnight. And once we get to my dad's house, we're going to want to just crash. And since this is my carry-on, I might bring an extra carry-on. Um, I'm going to change into these joggers. And these are also going to be my pajamas while I'm there. And a bra. And this shirt and then I will also have this sweatshirt right here and either my tennis shoes or my Converse because um, it's going to be cold once we get outside of the airport once we get to North Dakota. So that is my outfit I will change into. I'm also bringing some Nike shorts, um, this sleep shirt right here, this other sleep shirt that I got from work. Um, this shirt in case we go out, this shirt, half of these I might not wear to be honest, this tank top, this workout tank top in case I want to do a workout while I'm there, oh that's a bat, this tank top, 
these shorts, the shorts I'm wearing, and a pair of jeans. That is all I am bringing, and I'm also bringing my slippers and my toiletries. So now I'm gonna use the Kamari method, roll everything into my suitcase, and then I will show you guys my toiletries. And none will come. Okay guys, so that took way longer than it needed to be because I realized that there's a, that we are checking, that we are carrying on our suitcases and we could only have a certain amount of fluid ounces in our bag, so I had to improvise. So this is the toiletry bag that I am bringing with me. Um, I got it at Walmart. I had another toiletry bag, but it's wearing down and fading, so I got a clear one. Um, I got this one actually in May before we left to go to Florida. So in here I have... Okay, so this is wrapped in plastic wrap and in a plastic bag so it doesn't spill. It is actually what I use after I straighten my hair so my hair doesn't look frizzy. So I had to pour it into here, but I spray it into my hand. But I really didn't need this much, but I really need it because I'll be washing my hair at least once or twice while I'm there. And then I got a razor. I got my shampoo. I have it in a plastic bag so it doesn't spill. Um, deodorant. This right here. Um, I also brought a razor. This, I actually got this the last time I pet sat my aunt's dog. It is a two-in-one. It is a razor and it also has shaving gel inside of it. You squeeze this and it goes on to go somewhere. And then as you're shaving, the shaving gel goes with it. Very cool. But I brought a razor and shaving gel. I have shaving gel right here that I forgot to pack. Um, just in case um, there's not enough shaving gel in here, which I think there is. It looks like there is. But just to be on the safe side, I have my steroid eye drops, just in case my eyes get red. If they get really red, and then if they get a little red, I have my Lumify eye drops. Um, body lotion, conditioner, Q-tips, body wash, travel toothbrush, because I don't want to bring my giant toothbrush, and travel toothpaste. So that is everything in here. And then I also have over here that I need to put in a plastic bag. Um, I have face lotion, cotton round, probably brought too many for my eye wash. When I really realized that I could only bring a certain amount of fluid ounces in my suitcase, I really got really upset because this is the only face wash that I have and I hate this face wash. It is green, it is a black head clearing green tea scrub because after you, you wash your face, it still feels rough like you have face wash still left on. And I hate it. So, hence why I'm bringing face lotion. I got a hair clip for my when I straighten my hair. I got my straightener. Um, the cool thing is about this straightener, my mom got it at Kroger because it's a two-in-one. It acts like a blow dryer as well. Uh, um, I don't like to use it when it when my hair is like soaking wet. You can, but I like to use it when it's damp, and it is really, really well. I don't know the brand. Um, wet to scrape, I guess that's what it's called. And I got it at Kroger. I guess you can find it online too. But I love it. And then last but not least, in here I have my makeup and my facial cleanser scrub and that is it so i'm going to put everything else in my suitcase and then i will show you guys what it looks like inside when i'm done all right guys well i am done i was going to film a time lapse of me putting the rest of the stuff in there but i forgot um because i am pressed for time right now it is 2 30. um so i have my change of clothes in here and 
there it is. So I'm gonna zip it up, show you guys that everything is all fit. I don't have any more room. going to bring another carry-on bag with my airpods some snacks i buy at the airport my book that is the pack with me i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment subscribe and as always smile <laughs>